Welcome to the Glance Training showcasing Level 2 of Information. To access Level 2 of Information, that's to get more information from the devices. What you're going to do is you can either navigate to those uh, devices via the map view, where you can actually zoom in and select on a device. So we can zoom right into a device, we can select the device, and we can set more details. You can also click on the devices on the left-hand panel. Once you select the device, it's gonna bring up the next level of information. Now we're showcasing a school beacon here. It's gonna showcase the current status, that the device is online, if there are any alarms for that device, the current schedule of the device, the power status, the error status, the time zone, and then the time since last contact. Now each device will check in every single 30 minutes or whenever there's a change, such as the beacon goes on or there is a change in voltage on the batteries or a door is opened within the cabinet. We're also providing information such as the AC voltage here, the now, the minimum, the maximum, and the average over the last 24 hours. We're showcasing the cabinet door, the beacon status. We can currently see that the beacon status is centrally scheduled and it is currently off. Now we can see the beacon control over here. We can either turn the beacon on, off, or turn it back to schedule. This display is also going to show you the next scheduled event information. 12.45, the beacon is going to turn on. And at 1.30, the beacon is going to turn off. Now we can also look at information at a glance in terms of these different graphs on the right hand side here. Now they're going to be different graphs showing up for AC devices versus solar applications. This is an AC beacon at the moment and we'll jump into a solar beacon in just a second. If you select the picture on the right hand side it's going to bring up a pop-up. Now you can see that the beacon was off during the weekend. It went on on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and today is Friday. It's turned on this morning but it hasn't turned on for this afternoon. We can also get the AC voltage and we can see all the information for the last one week of data. We can also see the internal monitor battery. Now you can also change the schedules of these devices by clicking the edit button. The edit button will take you to the next page which will allow you to change schedules which we'll go over in another tutorial. Refresh will send a command to the beacon to send back its latest information. So if the beacon hasn't checked in in, in 25 minutes and you really need to find out the information right now about that about the status of the beacon, you can click the refresh button and that will get you to that next level of information. Now you can also select more details, which we'll go into in another tutorial, which will take you to level three of information. This gives you the raw data coming back from the device that you can go back in time and look at a month ago or a week ago to look at what actually happened with that beacon. What we're going to do is, is I'm going to log off of this system and I'm going to log into another system and showcase the information that comes back from a beacon that is a solar application. So we're going to go to a beacon over here and this is now going to show you and you can see I clicked on the beacon from the left hand panel here. Now you can see there's a little bit of difference here. We've got the solar voltage and we have the solar array uh, voltages now as well. We can also see the information from the solar battery here, which is gonna showcase how the battery's been charging up nicely during the day, keeping its charge at night. And this is what a good healthy battery looks like. You know, it's between 12 and 13.8 volts, which means it's a very healthy battery. Now, we can also see the lamp status of this device, which is going to show us here that the lamps are okay, 
And if there's a fault with one of the lamps, we'll see a fault coming up here. Or with both lamps, we'll see a fault showing on both lamps. We can also see the solar array voltage, and we can see this looks very good. We can see it charging during the day. Obviously, this is when at nighttime when there's no solar array voltage. Uh, so this is what a healthy solar array looks like. Join us for the next presentation, which is going to take us through the editing of schedules.